Legacy of Wisdom is a nonprofit project building a vision for best practices for living and fulfilling life's potential. While focusing on the last half of life, it remains applicable to all generations. society is that many of the older people are living alone and feel lonely. Um, do you see a way that people can avoid that or how you work with that in our society? Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm speaking my own experience. I'm very fortunate because both of my daughters live nearby and my grandsons. Um, so I don't have that problem and I have a lot of students. So I'm surrounded by people all the time. But for people who live in <clears throat> in um, homes, you know, they. Uh, I I worked in a senior citizen home, and we did a dance together called Seniors Rocking, and we went to the Civic Center, the a lagoon there, where, where there's a lake and birds flying, and we brought ro our rocking chairs, and we we did this wonderful. <laughs> Uh, dance in rocking chairs because everybody can rock and so you keep the pulse going and it was just a, a lot of fun and also very uh, serious because the rocking chair became symbolic of the heartbeat and as long as the heart's beating you're alive so when they got out of their rocking chairs they had to say goodbye to the rocking chair and uh, there was a little rose underneath e each rocking chair. And when they left, they put the rose on the seat of the rocking chair. And then they went out to the lagoon and put their hands to their heart and blew into their palms. And uh, they, we, we spent a lot of time trying to uh, determine what our legacies were. And then they went, pa! And they sent it out to the birds to take all around the world. So I think that that's an example of what seniors are capable of. I mean, that production, that dance, was as important as anything I've ever done. And there, That was in the film, too, parts of that. Yeah, some of it was in the film. Um, so I just think it's the responsibility of our whole society to participate in areas where uh, people are feeling left out. It needs to be incorporated in our government. Good luck. <laughs> Somebody just sent me an email today. It's one of those uh, terrible things that are so f awful but funny. She, she, an older person, uh, you know, is denied now their, their, their um, uh, what do you call it? The, uh, Social Security right. is being, you know, attacked and so forth. So she had a gun in her hand, and she said, I'm going to shoot you, and now put me in prison. So she, they put her in prison. She said, see, now I have a place to live. I get three meals a day. If I get sick, they'll take care of me. So the government is spending more money sending me to the hospital than if they were to spend the money on my having a decent place to live. Now, that, that's a political question that... Uh, really needs to be addressed in this country. It's not true in other, in other countries that the old people are left to fend for themselves. What are they going to do? End up on the streets? It's a big, big issue. So, uh, I, I, I belong to AARP, right. and um, in our newsletters, we very often get, this is what you've got to do. You've got to send a letter here, here, and here, and this is what you have to do. And it's our responsibility as elders to take, uh, take our life into our own hands and, and be politically alert. Mm -hmm.